proud moment for me to have a one-to-one -one talk with our final year B.Com student, Ms. Namrita Rago, for gaining admission to Manipal Institute of Regenerative Medicine for conducting research in stem cell and regenerative biology. Welcome Namrita to this talk show. At the outset, let me congratulate you on your stupendous achievement. I am sure all our students and viewers would like to know more about your journey about this entire process. So, are you ready for the questions? Yes, ma'am. How do you think the focus on both studies and co-curricular activities in the college contributes to a student's overall development? Firstly, academic studies provide students with essential knowledge and skills which are required for their future careers. And on the other hand, extracurricular activities uh, or co-curricular activities help them develop skills like time management, leadership skills, problem solving skills, critical thinking skills. And I think focusing on both these areas gives a lot of sense of purpose, boost your confidence and that is very important in both our personal and professional lives. So you mean to say that students should, show, should focus both on academics as well as life skills? Yes, it gives a very holistic and educational, fulfilling educational experience. Well, in your opinion, what role did the personality development program organized by the TMP cell of the college play a role in preparing you and the students for interviews and group discussions? For me, personality development program arranged by our college was a boon that helped me in several areas. Uh, firstly, the personality development program gave us the ideas about our strength and weaknesses. Uh, we came to know about our strength, weakness, the areas in which we have to improve or develop. Also, they provided with the skills like uh, mock interviews and group discussion to showcase our skills and practice more. So, we become more comfortable and uh, confident in that. So, this happens right because uh, when we are preparing, when we are going for an actual interview or group discussion, we become very uh, normal and confident in it. So, there were some very valuable lessons you have learned. Yes. Right? And uh, were there any mistakes or uh, did you, I mean, that you had during these uh, workshops, personality development workshops? To be honest, a lot. But I <laughs> gained a very great insights from my mistakes. Very good. Uh, Namrita, now in today's uh, social media world, all of your generation is very much into social media. Even we have got to know about this. But considering the professional social media like LinkedIn, how important do you think uh, LinkedIn is to improve your career prospects and for your professional growth? In today's digital world, I think LinkedIn is the largest professional building network. So it is very important to have one account which can motivate you, which can help you to gain knowledge from it. So LinkedIn also provides you the opportunities of internship and job. It is a very good source of finding opportunities there. Also, LinkedIn is an excellent platform to showcase your skills, experiences and achievements. So it can motivate the others to do the same. Let me tell you that I am new to LinkedIn. We all are very new to LinkedIn, but I have improved my connections to such an extent that I have come to know so many types of research and job profiles that are there in the industry. So it has been an amazing experience for me to do. I have joined late into this, come late into this. Considering the alumni uh, population that we have globally, we also have our alumni meet as you know every year you have been a part of this. Have you benefited from interaction with any of the alumni, maybe in the recent past or of uh, long years back, alumni of many years back? So have you interacted with them and have you gained any you know, professional insights? Yes, yes. I have uh, interacted with a lot of alumni of our colleges uh, which are in the research industry or maybe which are not in the research industry but they give you uh, very great insights or uh, uh, very great uh, points on which you should gain knowledge and uh, grow, how to grow. So the alumni which are in your field can help you to gain knowledge or give you knowledge about the current job industry, market industry, how to proceed further, what are the requirements you need to uh, enter in that particular industry. And I am sure all our alumni are very, very helpful and always ready to help our students. Very much. Namrata, how do you choose this particular course in stem cell and regenerative biology? Because it's in a very nascent stage in our country. Many of us don't know about it. So, 
what were your uh, thoughts about it? So I thought the field of stem cell and regenerative biology holds a great pr promise for developing new therapies and treatment for a range of diseases like cancer, heart disease and neurological diseases. And the developments and breakthroughs occur in the stem cell and regenerative biology at every stage. So I thought this will be a very exciting and dynamic research for me and I would love to go in this. If you want to do I thought that uh, that's and really amazing, Navrata, because you know you have the required confidence to you know, try a new field and explore a completely new field uh, as compared to your peers. So amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for this because we have also come to know a lot about this through you. Can you describe the admission process for Manipal Institute of Asian Native Medicine for sure. our viewers and for the next generation of our students? Yes, yes. So the admission process was divided into stages. First was the entrance exam, second was group discussions, third was the selection through CV and last was the interview, personal interview. In uh, entrance exams, it was of 120 questions consisting of divided into four sections, GK, Biotechnology, Biochemistry and the basics of stem cells. So the GK, I had searched or subscribed journals and uh, on your Google. And I, I used to make notes of it, key points of it, so I can remember it. For biotechnology and biochemistry, I have referred only the notes of Shivani ma'am, which has taught us biotechnology and biochemistry both in respective years. And for the science of stem cells, the basic of stem cells, I have referred the uh, reference book of it, the science of stem cells. Okay, so you did your background uh, work uh, research really well in the thorough background search. How did you ensure that your CV stood out during the selection process? I highlighted my personal experiences, my project work, my leadership qualities, my uh, role of responsibilities which I was provided in the past four years from the college and uh, made sure that it looked different from all other colleagues or peers which are appearing for the same exam. So did you take any professional help in preparing your CV? Uh, no. Okay. So you made it on your own. Did you refer any online resources for this? Not online resources, but uh, yes, the only the guidance of a personality development ma'am which uh, have uh, visited us. So they had an uh, sector that uh, you gave your CV. We can uh, guide in you in that case. So, so the CV they writing uh, guide mentorship that you got from the trainer of the personality development. Yes, I gave uh, my CA I presented so they give few pointers in which I can uh, expand or change my CV in particular ways. Anruta, just now you mentioned about your personal experience. So anything particular that made you opt for this particular course? Actually, yes. Uh, being a family of a cancer patient, I know the struggle and pain uh, entire family goes through. So I had it in my mind that if I get 1% chance of uh, making their lives better, I would definitely take it. Seeing your loved one struggle can be traumatic and emotional experience. And it may lead individuals to seek out ways to prevent any diseases that may affect people's life. Such a noble thought and I'm sure everyone has some such personal experiences, you know, which color their future choices. Great Nagata. Now regarding your personal interview, which was one of the sections of your you know, selection process at MIRN, can you share some uh, you know, experiences about your personal interview sessions? Okay, so personal interview was very focused on my project work. Uh, so I asked uh, my process of project work, the objective uh, of my project work and they had uh, told me to present my project work in a way that I would do it in uh, competitions. So, uh, and uh, then starting with it, then they have asked me that why I was so determined to enter in that particular course, uh, then basics of some stem cells and lastly the general knowledge questions of stem cells. So, was it an online interview or a one-to-one interview? It was an offline interview. So, did you prepare for the interview beforehand yes, yes. or did you have a list of questions with you? Did you talk to anyone? No, we didn't have a list of questions or anything. Uh, just uh, I had one thought or uh, instinct that they will ask me a famous, very famous question that tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. So I had uh, collected points for it that uh, I have included a two minute answer for which I have included my background, my schooling, my experiences, my 
position of responsibility, my competitions in a very short time suit me. That's really great. Can you provide examples of any specific resources or initiatives or programs offered by the AISS in this college pharmacy which helped you in this process, which guided you in this process? Yes, yes. So as we have discussed earlier, personality development is one of the biggest help we have got and initiative our college has done. Uh, other is soft skill training program. We had that program for skills such as time management, critical thinking, stress management, decision making and that, that was very helpful. Another, our college encourages us to participate in various extracurricular activities which allows us to co uh, collaborate with peers and uh, our improve our interpersonal skills also. Uh, also our college has initiatives like NSS, APGA, Eco Rangers. So our college is a very well developed and uh, it focuses on both the areas very well. So you got a holistic development. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Which helps very much. Yes. Thank you so much Namrata for answering all these questions. Very well answered. I'm sure all our viewers and students would gain a lot of insights from this uh, session. Uh, in conclusion, I would like to thank you Amrita, Namrata for your insights into this entire process and on behalf of the principal and all the faculty of AISSMS College of Pharmacy, I would like to congratulate you once again and wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much.